As they get all the more closer to Shogaro, the Heishin unit mourns their beloved uh, loss. Well, beloved, that's kind of the wrong word, maybe, but uh, dearly uh, cherished comrade of Shosa. The only one who has no time to mourn is, of course, Shin. But uh, you shouldn't actually talk down on him from that. Shin is the captain, and he has no time to mourn. He will mourn for him when the time is right. Of course, the many who do, do hear the many different uh, th things of the Haitian unit all begins to cry. Uh, especially Kario Ten. I mean, this is also the note here. That Kario Ten is sometimes called someone who's very cold in tactics. But it's worth noting that uh, of everyone in the team, she is the most emotional of them all. She has never really gotten used to the war. She's just doing this because of Shin, who she loves. And indeed, even though she tries to collect her thoughts of planning, she cannot do that because, after all, she blames herself for having sent Shosa to her, his death, which we know is not true. She also obeyed Karyoten's uh, orders. However, it was Shosa himself who decided to do this because he was just that soft to the rookies. So... But uh, during all of these tears, they actually do find out, thanks to Naki, that they have found Shogaro's uh, uh, place. So, uh, so um, la later Shin gathers some of his comrades and says that uh, Shosa died uh, in his arms and I cried enough tears there for all of you. So he says to Dene and the others do not cry. So... Uh, so, and Shin has even gotten patched thanks to Sogen. And, uh, and Kario Ten has also awoken after hearing that Shosa has passed. Well, this is dangerous, but uh, Shin takes his glaive. With words of Shosa saying to watch over them, they all ride. Now their morale, uh, no, their morale is even higher than before because they have a comrade to avenge. And so they ride after Shogaru. Elsewhere in Guyon awakens after... And um, anything else. His arm is wrapped in bandage and his is a is completely well blood blooded. I guess that is because he's desperately trying to use it. As he finds out that Shogaro has trouble, he begins to feel disbelief. For a man who acknowledged that Shin and the others who having potential that may rival the well, you know, sixth general, I found it very strange that he finds it strange that Shogaro is pushed. Elsewhere, the Guyon unit are slowly reaching their limit, but Heishin units has finally found the best, the Sao bastards, and are rampaging through the mills from them all. As the <coughs> Sho, as Shogaro sees Shin approaches, he suddenly has a trip down the mirror lane. Probably one of the last times he he had a talk with uh, his lord Rinsho Yo before he well was bedridden and and died and had one final conversation with uh, Shogaro and uh, Gaiyu. And during this time, it actually was war when they... Uh, when he took his trusted shield and sword out uh, to overlook the field and told them that there was something he wanted to talk about them all. Something about the place that... <coughs> the lands that they call home. As Shogaro slowly uh, walks forward probably intending no longer to run, and very likely intending to die right here, because now he has a trip of memory lane on remembering his lord, probably meaning that uh, now Rinsho is going to tell something else about the thing, perhaps about the duty, about uh, how Sao should have been collector or, or something like that. I'm not sure what he's going to talk to Shogaro in the flashback about, but it's going to be very likely something that makes uh, Shogaro... Uh, decide to go out and meet Shin in battle, because I think he's actually doing that. He seems to wa slowly walk forward. So at long last, there may be a clash, and Shogaroth may finally be vanquished. But Gyuyun has awakened. Is it possible that Gyuyun is going to ignore his wounds and head straight for the battle? No, I find that very unlikely, but he does seem to be that kind of stubborn guy that may very well do that. So what awaits? I have no idea. The Haitian unit are wounded. They have lost a comrade. But their morale is high. Because they need to bring down Shogaro. Shogaro himself is confused. As he remembers the words of Rinsho. 
so well whatever happens now is the one who has the strongest will will survive but what is that flashback gonna be about well no idea but you can give me a thought if you have any